Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do part 4 of chapter Fractions. In this part 4, we will understand like and unlike fractions. Fractions which have same denominator are called like fractions. Let's understand this term with the help of example. Students, what is the fraction of this blue part in this figure? Yes, it is 1 by 7. Now, what is the fraction of this green part in the second figure? It is 1 by 8. And what is the fraction of red part in the third figure? It is 4 by 7. Fractions 1 by 7 and 4 by 7 are like fractions because their denominators are same. Now let's see what are unlike fractions. Fractions which have different denominator are called unlike fractions. Let's take the same example. Here 1 by 7 and 1 by 8 are unlike fractions because their denominators are different. Similarly, 1 by 8 and 4 by 7 are unlike fractions, reason being the same that their denominators are different. Now let's understand how to compare like fractions. Suppose three friends have ordered three pizzas. Rahul eats one slice from his pizza. So fraction of remaining pizza is 5 by 6. Next, Simran eats 2 slices from her pizza. So fraction of remaining pizza is 4 by 6. Now, Tina eats 3 slices from her pizza. So students, the fraction of pizza left with her is 3 by 6. So we have got 3 like fractions. 5 by 6, 4 by 6, and 3 by 6. Now, which fraction is the largest one? Fraction 5 by 6 is the largest fraction because it represents the largest portion of pizza left. Similarly, students, can you tell me which fraction is the smallest one? Yes, it is 3 by 6 because 3 by 6 represents the smallest portion of pizza left. Let's solve few questions. Question number 1 is compare like fractions 2 by 5 and 3 by 5. Students, since their denominators are same, we only need to compare their numerators. So here, 3 is greater than 2. Therefore, fraction 3 by 5 is greater than fraction 2 by 5. Question number 2 is, arrange the given fractions in ascending order. Ascending order means arranging from smallest to biggest. So we have to arrange these fractions from smallest to biggest. Now, since their denominators are same, we only need to compare their numerators. So here, 2 is less than 4, 4 is less than 5. And 5 is less than 7. Therefore, fractions in ascending order would be 2 by 8 is less than 4 by 8. 4 by 8 is less than 5 by 8. And 5 by 8 is less than 7 by 8. Question number 3 is Arrange the given fractions in descending order. Students, descending order means arranging from Biggest to smallest. So we have to arrange these fractions from biggest to smallest. Now their denominators are the same. So we will compare their numerators. Here 9 is greater than 6 which is greater than 3 and 3 is greater than 1. Therefore fractions in descending order are 9 by 11 is greater than 6 by 11 which is greater than 3 by 11 and 3 by 11 is greater than 1 by 11. 
Now, question number four is circle the smallest fraction in the group. Since denominators of all these three fractions are same, and one is the smallest numerator, so fraction one by seven is the smallest fraction in the group. Last question is circle the biggest fraction in the group. Again, students. Denominators of all these three fractions are same, and twelve is the biggest numerator. Therefore, fraction twelve by fifteen is the biggest fraction in the group. Now, let's understand how to compare unlike fractions. Let's do some questions to understand how to compare unlike fractions. Question is: Compare unlike fractions two by five and three by eight. Students, here since the denominators are different, we will use cross multiplication technique to compare these fractions. So we will do two into eight and three into five. Two into eight equals to sixteen, and three into five equals to fifteen. Sixteen is greater than fifteen. Therefore, fraction two by five is greater than fraction three by eight. Let's do one more question. Compare unlike fractions three by six and four by eight. Again, the denominators of these fractions are different, so we will use cross multiplication technique to compare these fractions. So let's do three into eight and four into six. Three into eight equals to twenty-four, and four into six also equals to twenty-four. It means both these fractions are equal. Therefore, three by six equals to four by eight. Let's do last question. Compare unlike fractions one by three and one by five. Students, let's use cross multiplication technique. So we will do one into five and one into three. One into five equals to five, and one into three equals to three. Now five is greater than three. Therefore, fraction one by three is greater than fraction one by five. Students. In this example, we have got two unlike fractions with same numerator, and we have found that the biggest fraction is the one with the smallest denominator. Let's understand it with the help of an example. Consider two pizzas. One pizza has six slices, and second pizza has seven slices. To get the same numerators in both the fractions, let's eat one slice from first pizza and two slices from second pizza. So we get two fractions as five by six and five by seven. These are unlike fractions with same numerators. You can easily see which fraction is the biggest fraction. It is five by six. Because it represents the largest portion of the pizza left. Therefore, students, while comparing unlike fractions with same numerators, biggest fraction will be the one with smallest denominator. So, in this video, we learned what are like and unlike fractions, how to compare like fractions, and how to compare unlike fractions. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook and make sure to press the bell icon. Thank you. Bye bye. See you in the next video.